Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's pet pairing. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because sometimes I wear my clothes more than once a week and I'm not going to make an effort for you just to change my shirt, okay? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to start doing my base makeup but I'm not really going to mention the products um, anymore so if you have any questions about any of the base makeup products just let me know because I kind of like always use the same thing so for those of you who are regulars here it's probably going to be super boring for me to regurgitate the same words all the time it's just that when it comes to base products I don't really have that much of a variety I'm very conservative and I don't really buy that much to try so unfortunately um, yeah it gets boring really quickly anyway so I thought instead of repeating myself over and over again maybe we can chit chat about some of the newest TV shows that I have seen and I can like give quick speedy mini reviews so I go through these phases when I am going to not be watching any sort of show or any of the streaming services and I just don't have any interest or, or I rage quit when I'm trying to pick something new and then I'll go through a phase when I'm like binging a bunch of things and I recently went through a phase where I was actually binging a bunch of things or at least trying to binge a bunch of things I think the last time we talked about uh, TV shows was when I had um, just got on an Apple TV subscription because one of my colleagues recommended watching Ted Lasso and I really enjoyed Ted Lasso just to re recapitulate and the other show that I watched was the I think it was called The Morning Show The Morning Show uh, and I mentioned that I was not a super huge fan of season one and I doubted that I would watch season two and that is exactly what happened I actually cancelled the Apple TV subscription because Honestly, besides that lasso, nothing else there really struck my fancy. And as of very recently, we also have uh, HBO Max here. So we didn't have HBO Max or any of the shows um, available on it. So basically, whatever of these shows was like really interesting, we've probably just downloaded. So as I was saying, we recently got HBO Max and I've been trying to watch some of their like own TV shows. Honestly, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to have HBO Max is because I wanted to revisit the good old just six seasons of Sex and the City because I used to love watching it. I used to watch it with my mom um, years ago back when it was on TV and we both really enjoyed it. I've also seen the two movies. I don't mind the two movies. I know a lot of people were very critical of them. I didn't really mind them. I think that they, they were fun. Uh, and I have not really watched the uh, newest season that they, they are doing now, the whatchamacallit, and just like that, <clears throat> because I read a little bit about what happens in there, and in my opinion they're just plain ruining um, the legacy of Sex and the City, so I have no interest in being a part of that. I feel like I'd better rather rewatch the classic uh, Sex and the City rather than watch this new show and see them ruin Sex and the City. Oh, I'm just going to mention now what I'm going to do for powder because it's something new that I've been trying. So I have my little uh, Pat McGrath Labs setting powder here and this powder has a very blurring effect to it. But at the same time it also makes my skin look really dry. So what I've decided as of recent is that I'm going to try to put that powder uh, here in my cheek area where I have the largest pores and I'm going to leave this powder kind of like limited to this perimeter and then for the rest of my face I'm going to apply one of my more luminous powders so today I'm going to grab my uh, hourglass dim light or alternatively I will be grabbing the Dior backstage powder but you know I've, I'm just trying this new thing now where I'm uh, trying to kind of be a bit more strategic with how I apply some of my products just to see how it works out for bronzer I'm going to take the unicorn tears from uh, Too Faced so what did I uh, watch or try to watch on HBO Max? One of the first shows that I thought I would probably enjoy watching is Succession because it's a highly awarded show and my brother really recommended it. He said it's really good so if I ever had the chance to I should watch it. And I put it on, I watched an episode and then I was like nah, I don't think this is something for me. Don't get me wrong, it's probably a really good show. However, it's a show about, about a bunch of rich power hungry people and I just have no interest in watching their power struggles so I kind of like watched an episode I didn't really get into it and it was one of those shows where I knew I wasn't going to like any of the characters and I wasn't going to root for ev anyone and that's not necessarily a problem but it's like I'm, I was just not in the mood for it 
For blush I'm taking my trusty but goody Pat McGrath Desert Orchid blush. So I clicked away and then I was like, oh, what am I gonna watch, what am I gonna watch? And I started watching The Flight Attendant, which I haven't actually finished watching yet. I'm um, almost done with it, but it's kind of fun. It's not a show that I'm like super mega invested into. And again, it's one of those shows where I feel like um, I don't really like any of the characters particularly to really root for them, but it's fun enough and different enough for me to watch. But other than that, I haven't really seen much else on HBO Max that I would really like to watch. Well, it gives me access to all the Harry Potter movies to watch whenever the fuck I want, and that's kind of a big deal because I love the Harry Potter movies. To highlight, I'm going to take my uh, Skin Glazing in Ozone from Nabla. So we can switch now. If you have any recommendations, by the way, uh, for a TV show on HBO Max that I might not have seen, just let me know. I have seen, by the way, the one about Chernobyl. That one was really good. I have seen all seasons of Westworld. I did really enjoy season one. Uh, season two and three, not so much. I think they kind of like jumped the shark with that one. Uh, so I have seen some of them, like I said, downloaded. But if you have any recommendations for like TV shows or movies that I could watch on HBO Max, please do let me know. And we can also quickly talk about some, I think, more interesting shows that I saw on Netflix. Or not shows, plural, just one show that I watched on Netflix that I really liked. I'm taking my uh, sponge here to spritz with Fix Plus. I did try to get into Ozark. Uh, again, a recommendation from my brother. But again, probably a really good show. It gives me very much like Breaking Bad vibes. But again, one of those shows where I just really wasn't in the mood for it because it felt so dark and like one of those shows where, again, there is literally not a single character that you want to root for and you know from the start that things are not going to end well. Like I said, it gives very like Breaking Bad types of vibes. So the first palette I'm going to go into is going to be the Decadence and I'm going to take this shade over here. It's like a very light um, metallic satiny type of taupe shade. It's a really stunning shade. I would really love to see something uh, in those lines in Pat's Blitz or VR formula with a bit of sparkle to it. But basically I'm going to take this on my Jumbo Blender from Sonia G and I'm going to apply it as a one and done all over my lids. So the only show recently that I binged and I really really enjoyed watching was Inventing Anna. Inventing Anna was released on Netflix relatively recently and it's based on a true story. It's um, how to give you the story in a nutshell in case you haven't seen it. So it's the story of this woman who uh, basically claimed she was a German heiress and kind of like faked her way into the elite of New York and basically fooled a bunch of banks into almost loaning her a bunch of money to start a project that she really wanted to. And what I really enjoyed about this show was basically how I would uh, watch it and then I would continue thinking about the story for hours and trying to figure out for myself whether I um, see things black and white or I'm able to see the gray area in her story because um, I don't want to give up away too much if you haven't seen it yet and you would like to go watch it but um, from my experience it was one of those shows where at times because you know they are not trying to portray her as the bad guy they are also not trying to portray her as someone who is innocent. I think they do a good job at telling the story in a, a mostly neutral way without really taking a stance too much. I think they took a little bit of a stance when it came to like one of the subplots there, but I kind of agree with the uh, stance that they took. But it was, you know, one of those shows that really made you wonder how large the gray area is. So I wonder if any of you have uh, seen the show and what your thoughts on it are uh, and on her actually as a person. I'm taking my uh, NYX glitter glue now to apply just a little bit of that all over the top eyeshadow as well as my inner corners as per usual. And I'm slightly going to intensify this taupe shade on my lid just applying it over that uh, glitter base to give it a bit more body. Honestly you don't have to do that you can immediately go on with the next step. Okay, the next palette we're going to go to will be the uh, first Bridgerton palette and I'm going to grab the Astro shade and apply that basically all over that top that I put on the lid because I think it's going to give it a really beautiful effect. And you don't have to be sparing with the topper. You can layer it um, 
quite a bunch if you wanted to. You can keep it very subtle, you can layer it a bit more for this specific look. You don't have to keep it very subtle, honestly. Next I'm going to go back into the Decadence palette and grab this silver shade over here to apply as an inner corner highlight. I don't really like using this shade all over my lids. However, I think it's a bomb inner corner highlight. It's just... Like, I think they can see my inner corners on Mars. If there are Martians, they are probably being blinded right now by my inner corner highlights. Now, the next part of this look is going to probably be the most fun part. We're going to go into the subliminal palette and I'm going to take Blitz Blue and I'm going to apply this as an eyeliner today. And I'm just using a tiny wing liner brush from Zueva for that. So I uh, zoomed in a little bit because I had forgotten to do that. I'm very sorry. If you would like to keep the wing a little bit more smoky and um, less structured and not as metallic, you can leave it at this. However, I do want today to have just a little bit more coming from Blitz Blue in terms of its pigmentation and metallic sheen. And I thought it might also be fun to, uh, for me to show you what to do you, with your matte mixing medium in case you have that. Uh, I don't have that medium. However, I do have a similar type product. I have Inglot Duraline, which is also a mixing medium. And now there are many ways to approach the mixing medium and how to make liners with that. But personally, what I will do is I will just take a drop of that and the uh, Inglot one comes with like a little dropper to it. And I will put a drop of that in my eyeshadow immediately. And I just want to show you that when I put um, Duraline, I will usually pick like a little corner where I will be using the eyeshadow wet with Duraline or whatever other mixing medium you have because even though these don't really change the texture of eyeshadows, over time they could, of course you're introducing something different into the formula, so they could theoretically change the formula a little bit. So you don't want to, you know, keep putting your mixing medium all over the eyeshadow. You kind of want to keep it concentrated at the same spot. So I kind of like pick a corner well, uh, where I will be using the eyeshadow um, wet with mixing medium and I always put my droplet there. And I also don't really use them wet that often, so I don't think that's a problem. And then I will just go over top of this uh, wing that we sketched out dry. And you can immediately tell the intensity of the blue increases as well as the metallic sheen. Also, you don't necessarily even need to have a mixing medium. You can achieve the absolute same effect if you were to just spritz your brush with a little bit of Fix Plus or any other like setting spray that you have and just go into the eyeshadow. Or you can take a little bit of your glitter glue and take your little brush, apply the glitter glue over top of the uh, dry sketched out liner and then stamp a little bit of the eyeshadow over top of that. All of these are options if you would like to uh, turn your eyeshadows into a more liquid liner type of product. I'm going to keep my lower lash line really chill and I'm just going to take a little bit of Divine Mink to apply there. This brush is great for packing the eyeshadow but it's not great for uh, blending it out so I'm just going to grab a little blending brush to blow out Divine Mink a bit. The last part of this look is definitely something that you can skip, but if you're feeling a little bit more playful with your liner and if you are me and feeling nostalgic about how you used to be a little bit more playful with your liner, you can totally do this next step and I think it's going to look really fun. I'm going to take my doodle line again. I'm going to repeat the absolute same step that I did with Blitz Blue, but this time I'm going to drop a tiny little bit of that into the silver eyeshadow from the Decadence palette that I applied in my inner corner earlier. And then I'm going to take this really teeny tiny liner brush. You see it has a very like fine, fine um, a point to it. And I'm going to use the silver eyeshadow wet. And I'm going to use this silver eyeshadow to draw a little tiny underwing here under the blue. And I think that's going to just give it a super nice effect. I haven't done shit like this in a really long time, so I'm a little bit out of practice.
So this look turned out a lot more complicated than I was originally planning for it to be. I was just like, I'm just going to put like a one and a eyeshadow, a bit of a top or over top and a liner, done and done. Who knew things were going to take such an adventurous direction? I have two lipsticks layered over top of each other. Unfortunately, neither of them is available anymore because both of them are in Pat's uh, Lux Trans formula. The shades that I'm referring to are Donatella, no, Donatella and She is Heaven. She is Heaven is one of my favorite uh, nudes to wear. Donatella is about the most nude lipstick that I have in my collection, but it's just slightly too nude for me, so I kind of like like to layer Donatella with other colors, so today I layered it with She's Heaven. That is pretty much all for today. I do hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments section below, and as usual, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!